Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Simile, and this is actually my first voiceover video. So today I want to show you guys how I'm gonna make my sim pose by using the Sims for Studio. Um, a lot of people had a problem with this when it comes to following tutorials, and they will get stuck when it comes to pose their sim. And this actually happened to me, but I found a way to make my sim pose without having to change my blender um, from 2.8 to 2.7 because I was following a tutorial on YouTube and this YouTuber used 2.8, the 2.8 version of blender. So I was halfway through the tutorial, did everything, was actually at this part where I'm at right now. And this is the part where you have to make your sim pose so you can take a picture and the picture will be the render. So um, you have to make your sim pose by downloading a pose and then opening it with the Sims for Studio and then append it into Blender. So I'm gonna show you guys what happened to me and maybe happened to you guys too. And what the problem is so I'm gonna open the Sims for Studio and as you all may know by following the tutorials you go into my projects and you search for a post that you downloaded on your computer so I already did that and this is this one so I want my sim to pose let's say pose number four and here you don't have to do anything you just have to click export and when you do that you're gonna choose a pad where you want to save your pose so I have a folder that's called since poses for blender so I'm just gonna put it in there and call it girl pose and when I click save I get this the Sims for Studio requires Blender 2.770 to be installed, but it seems that you are using 2.80. Would you like to download and install version 2.70 now? So I'm like, um, okay, I did it. And when I open 2.70, it's a whole other version and it doesn't look like this. So it's going to be harder because then I have to um, choose another tutorial and go through it again. And when you have 2.8 and you download 2.7, it only down, uh, opens 2.80. So you have to remove 2.80 completely and then open 2.70. But then you have to do everything over again because this doesn't open in 2.70. So that's all I went through. So then I'm like, there has to be a way because in the videos they did it with 2.80 and still opened poses by using um, the Sims for Studio so I'm like how did they do that so I figured it out and the reason is that you actually need to download 2.70 and 2.80 or 2.7 or 2.8 how you want to call it um, so I'm like yeah let's download it so you download it so i already have it here so i'm gonna open that i'm gonna show you guys what you need to do so when you want to open it and download it uh you go to next you agree and next and here this is the important part make sure that your destination folder is not the same folder where your 2.80 is installed because that's what it's going to automatically do but you have to make sure that it doesn't do that so choose another folder and the best way you can do this is go to where your sims for studio is and on my computer it's in program files x86 and then you go to sims for studio and in there there's already a file called blender so when you open it you can see here this I downloaded it and I put it here 2.70 
and the 2.80 I have it too but not in my Sims 4 Studio folder I have it in Blender Foundation which is the folder that Blender gives you when you download Blender 2.80 so basically I have both 2.80 and 2.70 but they are not in the same folders. So that is what you're going to do when you download 2.70. So I already downloaded it so I'm going to close this. So now to make sure that the Sensor Studio recognizes 2.70 you have to change the path and settings because right now it's set to 2.8 or 80 so we're gonna make sure that it's in the folder 2.70 so let's go here and 2.70 like I showed you guys is downloaded in my sims for studio folder blender so when you come here you can see actually everything that's in here is 2.70 so you don't go in here you just go here where the application is and you just click on blender not the blender player but just blender yeah just blender and then you click open so now the blender path is the blender 2.70 which is what he wants so you click save and then we're gonna try to export the pose once again now go to where you have your poses saved I save them here all the time so I'm like okay girl pose and save and now it's exporting the animation it's not telling you that you don't have the right uh, blender and stuff it just exports it and that's what it's supposed to do so this was the whole reason why we couldn't go through with posing our sims because we had it in the in the wrong folder or we didn't have 2.7 so what you need to pose your sim is make sure you have blender 2.7 also it doesn't matter if you have 2.8 or 3.0 it doesn't matter just make sure that you have 2.7 at the same time but not in the same folder and then change it in settings so the blender path in here is blender 2.70 so now i can continue my tutorial because now i have the pose so of course you have to append the pose first and that just means that you have to look for the pose and the pose that i just uh, downloaded is this one i think yeah and just append it okay so i appended the pose and now i already did other things that you have to do so like uh, delete the orange strip here make sure you're in pose mode and now all i have to do is add the pose so when you append the pose it comes here so you just click on it and boom your sim is posing and that is the whole thing and I'm so happy that this is working because it was very frustrating because the process of making or following a tutorial about rendering is already so long the process and the fact that this part was blocking me made it even frustrating even more frustrating for me and because I just really wanted to render my sim because it looks so cool but I just couldn't and I figured it out and it works for me so I hope it works for you too and uh, let me know in the comments down below if it did and um, yeah like this video if you like this tutorial and subscribe to my channel for more I will be posting more in the future um, I'm making where I'm working on a machinima that's coming soon so stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video thank you and goodbye